Irvine native Rose Zhang is a two-time USGA champion and a nine-time winner at Stanford, where she's only a sophomore. In April, she's expected to set the record with 136 weeks atop the World Golf Amateur Rankings. And this week, she's going to tee it up at the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Our Jill Painter-Lopez has her story. Number one in the world and number one in the NCAAs. Rose Zhang becomes the 10th freshman to win the NCAA Women's Individual Championship. Yeah. Rose, this will be your fourth time playing in Anwa. What has made this experience so special for you? It's been an incredible experience, even the first time that I went to Augusta um, and played the first inaugural event. We're able to kind of show the world that uh, women can play and um, that we can compete at a really high level. Obviously, it's right before the Masters and it's at Augusta, so um, not a lot of people can say that they've played there and um, I'm just lucky to be a part of it. What does it feel like walking up 18 at Augusta? 18 is a dream. I feel like um, the tee shots, obviously one of the most difficult parts of the hole. It's a really cool experience to say that, hey, I walked up 18 green and everyone's there watching me play my final putt. I think that's one of the one of the key memories that I have at Augusta. You're one of six female golfers from Southern California who will be playing in Anwa again this year. Amari Avery, Anna Davis, who won it last year. Um, can you speak to the quality of female golfers who have come out of Southern California? I grew up with them. I played little nine hole golf tournaments and um, it's crazy how we're all in college now. We're all playing at the biggest stages. It just goes to show how amazing um, Southern California, like the tour is and golfers are really one of the strongest um, places you can find golfers um, in the U.S. You've won so often and you won your last four tournaments at Stanford. Obviously the pressure to keep succeeding. How do you deal with that? Um, pressure is pretty inevitable, I think, not only for me, but for everyone. Um, this is one of, if not the biggest stage of amateur golf. A lot of people do have a lot of expectations on me, and I expect them to. Um, but I also have really high expectations for myself in terms of the process. So um, I think that if I kind of focus on the process more, um, that will alleviate the pressure to have good results. Such a talented golfer, and she goes to Stanford. Wow.